So there she is. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> right out of the box. All right, here we go with the review of Serena. She is a not super long, but I would say she is on the long side, layered, straight wig. She does remind me, I think she's aptly named because she does look like the sand on the seashore. Now in my monitor, she looks like uh, salt, salt and pepper, but as I've said in person, she has a, she is a light brown. So depending upon your monitor, be careful because if you're a person that likes white, um, if you are like myself, if you are mostly white, you'll probably like um, wigs that have more of the color 56, 51, rather than the brown family. Now, this particular wig has, as I've said, has the browns, so she feels more warm to me than she does cool. Having said that, I, I do feel that I could get away with this wig if I was going to purchase this wig. Um, I would get her in a different color. I would get her more in a silver stone or just something with more white. But she is on loan to me to review for Wig Cupid. Uh, thank you, Wig Cupid. And I will put a link below with the code Angela10 so that if you do if you do want to order her, she does come in other colors. Let's take a minute or so and talk about color. Probably one of the most common reasons that wigs, hair pieces, toppers are returned is because of color. Color can be very confusing. I know it was for me for a long time, and every once in a while I'll still get tripped up by it. But here are some basic things for you to know. As you're looking at this color chart, the colors all the way to the left and the color all the way to the right, those are your darkest colors, of course, and those are wonderful if you're transitioning to gray, you're just growing out your gray, uh, you, you need a hair color, but you don't have time to go to the salon, etc. Uh, and they are good for people who are a dark salt and pepper already. But then my favorite coming up is Silverstone. Why is that? Well, the Silverstone is just a really soft white, soft gray. It, she's very believable in almost every brand. Every once in a while, the Silverstone will have just a little bit too much gray in it and can drab you down but for the most part every single wig that I purchased I wish that I had purchased her in Silverstone. Now the white number 60 you have to be careful with that because again depending on the brand she can look a little bit costumey-ish or plastic or just not believable and you will feel self-conscious in a number 60 often. Again it depends on the brand but I am learning and will pass on what I'm learning to you uh, why number 60 can be wonderful or why number 60 can be problematic. Now, uh, right next to 60, you'll see the Illumina R. Just a word about the Illumina R. That R means it's rooted. The wig is rooted. But you'll notice when you look at the colors of the Illumina R next to the Silverstone and the 60, there is quite a bit more, um, let's say, dark in the Illumina than light. So one thing to be careful of with these rooted colors is because they are rooted, they're usually going to have a little bit more ha uh, hair up at the top, up on the crown, so that they have somewhere to go with that color. Uh, they have to have something for the color to grab onto, and then as it graduates down the hair shaft, it gets lighter and lighter. But I have, having said that, I do like these Illumin, Illumina R colors. I just did a review on Angelica, and she was in this Illumina R color. I will link that below. And then, of course, right next to Illumina R, you're seeing the smoky color. Again, great for someone who's transitioning, uh, someone who's perhaps just trying to cover up some roots. You haven't been able to get to the salon. But my favorites, because I am mostly white, hardly have any gray in my hair at all anymore, for believability, is 
Silverstone in almost every brand, Illumina R, and quote, sometimes the color 60. I just wish they would take 60 and marry it with some other colors to give it, give it some depth. Uh, perhaps color 56, 51. That would be wonderful. But there are some of you out there that love, actually there are quite a few out there that love pure white. But I have yet to see a pure white that really looks exactly like my white hair. So I suppose you would have to get that custom done. So be careful with the 60. Uh, you may end up with something that you feel like it just is not believable. Depends on the brand. Let's talk a minute about the construction of Serena and have a look at the cap underneath. You can see that her fibers are very silky, very shiny, but not too shiny. She's very, very believable. And looking at the cap underneath, we could see that it is open wefted, allowing for wonderful air circulation. You see there that band is covered by felt, so as she lays against your forehead, she'll be very comfortable. Uh, we have open ear tabs. They do have a piece of metal in them, so you can push them tight against your head. Uh, she does have the extenders, the elastic extenders, so that if she's a little bit too big, you can make her tighter or looser. And she does have some give. She has some stretch to her. Very, very comfortable on the head. She weighs 3.9 ounces. She, this is an average size cap. And you could see that white that frames the face all around underneath on the fringe there. The fibers are just very, very real, very, very believable. Uh, take a close look at the crown and you could see that it looks like there might be a tiny, tiny bit of permatees, almost like someone teased up in that area, but nothing too much. If you don't like permatees, this won't be too much for you at all. Just very flowy, very silky. Your monitor might be picking up something that looks like orange or yellow. There's no yellow, there's no orange. That is, is simply the monitor showing. She is, I mean, you can see how she frames the face. The the white here, that's, that's what we need, ladies. We need something to soften, soften everything. And she, she brushes out very nicely. She is not heavy on the head. She though. is, her fringe, her, which is the bang, is four and a quarter inches down. Um, now I have a short forehead, so if you've got a lot of space from here to here, you know, if you've got a high forehead, she's going to hit you higher. But for me, um, since I have a smaller forehead, at least I think I do. I mean, in comparison to other people that I see, she's just about perfect on me. Uh, the crown is five and three quarters from the crown down. She's five and three quarters from the nape down, from the back down. She is 13 and a quarter. Um, her weight is 3.9 ounces. She feels very comfortable on my head. She's not, it doesn't have a lot of hair. I think it's got really just enough hair. Um, I do feel a little permatease there, a little poofiness, but if you don't like permatease, I don't think that would bother you. Here's the right side. And here's the left side. So there she is. And I mean, you could, in terms of styling her, of course, you could put, put that hair behind your ear. Look at my mirror here. If you're white, like I am, you'll be able to get, get away with this very, very easily. If not, then as always, you're just going to use some 
um, some eyeshadow and tap it along along that hairline. Now she does have ear tabs that have the bendable metal in them and it lies nice and flat against your skin. So she does have that. Now let me show you how she looks with a hairband. For this particular wig, I do have a black hairband, you know, these square, they call them SQ bands, square bands, because they close. I remember the first time I saw one of these, I thought it was the coolest thing. And they, they have the, uh, the little, little flat rhinestones on them. I, th I think that's swell. So here she is with a white headband. I do have a black one, but I have no idea where, where she is right now. She's missing in action. But so she does look really cute with that, doesn't she? So I love how she's layered. I think that this I think that this wig is very believable. That's that's the bottom line. I really do. She's very youthful. Gives a very youthful look. Not that we're trying to look younger than we are, but we just want to look fresh. We want to look pretty. And uh yeah, I I I think uh I think that you have a winner here if you're in the warm family and and even if you're not, I'm not in the warm family, but because of the white around my face, I could get away with this wig. I'm going to take her outside before I lose my light and uh, so that you can see her in natural light. If you want to level up your silver gray and white wig knowledge, I invite you to hit the like button below, subscribe. Don't forget the little bell icon and every time I upload, you'll get a notification. <laughs>